Ashley Ruiz. You may have noticed today was very mild. We started off in the 50s, so it was comfortable to start, but then we had humidity climb a little bit throughout the day, all thanks to onshore winds. A couple of showers out there, but most of us didn't even see a drop of rain. No hints of rain for a lot of the area, but you can see a couple of green dots indicating some light showers. Meanwhile, cold front to our northwest. That front, again, not going to do much for us, but it will bring us another surge of drier air so humidity will drop a little bit and you see that showing in Texas dew points in the 30s. That's extremely dry. Now it's not going to get that dry here, but you see 50s, 60s and then in wake of this front humidity will start to drop throughout the day and you see that right there in the dew points and that's reflecting it showing low 50s, some upper 40s, low 50s for dew points, not for temperatures. So it is going to be pleasant, just not as dry as where we were the last couple of days. Meanwhile, on Saturday, we'll have a little bit more in the way of drier air, just uh, settle in the area, making it feel comfortable, but it's going to be hot. So instead of cool, dry air, it's going to be hot with dry air. And then you see into next week, humidity will really begin to climb. But in the meantime, it's nice, beautiful. You see blue sky as well as some beautiful clouds going to have a gorgeous sunset out there. And tonight, temperatures in the 60s. We likely will not, most of us will not drop into the 50s tonight, but some areas of patchy fog will be possible in the morning. Then we'll have clearing skies tomorrow. Temperatures will quickly warm up into the upper 80s. Some of you may get lucky in the mid 80s, but overall you get the trend upper 80s to about 90 degrees with that comfortable wind out of the west northwest about 5 to 10. We're cool again Friday thanks to that drier air 57 when you're waking up Saturday morning lower humidity but 90 degrees on Saturday so if you're tailgating don't forget that it is going to be hot you're not going to need any warm jackets. Then Sunday we'll have more clouds in place as a potentially another front tries to move in, it's not going to do pretty much anything for us, just increasing our clouds. You see, here's tomorrow night. We have clear skies allowing us to cool into the 50s overnight. Saturday is going to be gorgeous, but high clouds will begin to move in and increase Saturday night and into Sunday. And so we'll have partly sunny skies on Sunday, which should keep our temperatures down a couple of degrees into next week. Keep in mind our normal high for this time of year is upper 70s to about 80 degrees all next week. We're looking at highs at least in the mid 80s next weekend we could have some 70s return but for now we'll just keep the 80s locked in until we get a little closer to then but as you see rain chance is very very low our mornings are going to get muggy again in the low and mid 60s which is well above normal for this time of year and so it's going to be very September like if you will or even late August thankfully though we're not talking triple digit 